This is Makoko, a floating slum located in Lagos, the capital of Nigeria. Once a small fishing village on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean, it has now become an integral part of Lagos. Often referred to as the Venice of Africa, Makoko is built on embankments made of compressed garbage, with houses standing on stilts above the water. It is one of the most unique places in the world, a poverty-stricken slum built on water. While the exact population of Makoko is unknown, the official census shows 250,000 people, though many believe that this number is an underestimate. These people survive in almost untenable conditions. The police and teacher ratios are abysmal, medical care is virtually non-existent, and the unsanitary conditions are deplorable. Consequently, there are very few elderly people living here. The majority of slum residents die at a relatively young age due to various diseases such as HIV, malaria, or intestinal infections, which are not properly treated. As a result, only 5% of the population in the slums live to the age of 60. Despite these challenges, the birth rate remains high, with men often having three or four wives who each have an average of five to seven children. The country is rich in natural resources, but unfortunately, these resources are often more lucrative to sell abroad. The profits generated from these resources are almost never shared with the local population. Makoko was once a small fishing village that supplied seafood to the entire Lagos. However, due to severe pollution, the water off the coast is no longer suitable for fishing. Despite this, if you venture further away from the town, you may still be lucky enough to catch some fish. As a result, fishing remains the primary occupation of the inhabitants of the water slums. For the rest of the population, they go to Lagos every day in search of work to make a living. A pungent odor emanates from the thick layer of filth that accumulates around the piles. On average, 6 to 10 people live in each of the hundreds of illegal shacks scattered throughout the floating slums. Many of the residents are migrant workers from all over West Africa who rent houses rather than own them. Wooden boats are the primary mode of transportation for the locals, and every family owns at least one. Children in particular come up with inventive ways to use the boats for transportation. Apart from transportation, boats are also used for fishing and as outlets for women who sell food, water, and household items. Floating schools constructed using plastic barrels are occasionally destroyed by storms, leaving children in some areas without access to education for several years. The government does not provide free drinking water to Makoko residents. The only way to obtain clean water is to purchase it from vendors who source it from wells. Unfortunately, all waste and sewage are dumped directly into the ocean, resulting in heavily polluted water. Despite this, it's common to see local children playing and splashing in the water. Despite the challenging living conditions, the people of Makoko manage to find ways to enjoy themselves. Even in homes without basic utilities, such as electricity, you may find an LCD TV or even a new generation PlayStation. In addition, local businesses like barbershops and small coffee shops are thriving. One of the advantages of living in the slum is its low crime rate compared to other parts of the neighborhood, possibly due to the sense of community and strong social ties. Furthermore, since essential services such as electricity and water are not provided, residents are not burdened with utility bills, allowing them to focus on more pressing needs. The Nigerian authorities have tried to demolish these slums on the grounds of environmental hazards, but they have not provided the residents with alternative housing. When the demolition began, the residents revolted, causing the authorities to back down. Due to the high unemployment rate in Nigeria, children are often expected to work hard from an early age, leading to almost one-third of Nigerians being illiterate. A lucky few save up for a one-way ticket to Europe, where they work low-paying jobs but still earn many times more than they would in Nigeria. Despite the challenges, Makoko is a unique place, with a surreal appearance due to the 10-kilometer-long bridge and modern buildings in the background.